welcome to Film Crux. I'm Lion Eliton. Today we're going to give you 24 free transitions for Adobe Premiere Pro, and we're going to show you how to use them. So the first thing you're going to do is download these. There should be a link down in the description, or you can just go to filmcrux.com, click on free stuff, then click on free Film Crux Transitions Volume 1, put in your email, and download them. Once you download them, you can save them anywhere. I typically save them in my Premiere Pro presets folder. Then you're gonna open Adobe Premiere Pro. And to import these, you're just gonna to go to Effects. You're gonna right click, you're gonna to go to Import Presets. Then you find the presets you downloaded. It'll say Film Crux Transitions Volume 1. Select it and hit Open. I already have them imported, so I'm just gonna hit Cancel. And in here, I have a couple clips, some drone footage. So we're going to add a transition to this. So all these transitions use adjustment layers. So you're just going to go to new item and adjustment layer from your bin. You just right click new item and adjustment layer and then hit OK. Then you just drag and drop this on top of the two clips. So then to add an effect, we're just going to go to effects, go to presets and then go to film crux transitions volume one. Hit the little drop down. And for this one, we'll use spin in counterclockwise. So next to each effect, there'll be a little recommendation. This one says start three frames before cut. So all we're gonna do is go to the cut between our two shots, right here. And then we're just gonna hit the left arrow key three times. One, two, three. Then we're just gonna shorten our adjustment layer so that it starts three frames before the cut. Then all you do is drag and drop your transition, and that's it. I'm gonna render these clips out because I'm using 4K footage real quick. We'll play it back. And it looks great. So because these are just recommendations, let's say we wanna move it over one frame earlier. We could just move that over. I'll render this out one more time. And that looks even better. So all the effects work like that, except for the glitch effects. They're a little bit different. So what we're gonna do for the glitch effects is same thing, we're gonna use an adjustment layer and we're gonna drop it on top. But the glitch effects actually have a start and end recommendation. So we have these clips right here. I just dragged an adjustment layer on top of them. And I'll go down to glitch two. And here it says one frame before, one frame after. So I'll go to the cut, zoom in a little bit here. And I'll just press the left arrow key one time and I'll shorten my adjustment layer to that. Go back to the cut and press the right arrow key one time. And then I'm gonna shorten the other end of my adjustment layer to that point. Now we have one frame before and after the cut with an adjustment layer on. Then you can just drag and drop glitch two on. We'll play that back. And it looks great. So one other cool effect you can do is if you go to this clip, the glitch one's kind of cool because you don't have to use it as a transition. You can just hold alt and then drag this over and it'll create a duplicate. Then when we play this back, it'll add a little bit of a residual glitch effect, which is cool. So another cool thing we can do to make these look even better is we can add a letterbox templates on top of it. So we actually offer these two on Film Crux. If you go back to free stuff, you can just click on free letterbox templates download these the same way. Once you have them, these are just drag and drop. So we'll go into 1080p and for this one we'll use the Revenant. Just drag it into your bin and then you can just drag it on top of all your clips. I'll render that out the same way. And that's it. Looks great. this make sure you subscribe turn notifications on because we'll have a lot more free stuff like this in the future we'll see you next time